20 Questions by Stringster Do you remember the game 20Q? 20Q was the computerized version of the parlor game, 20 Questions, that was originally developed as a test for artificial intelligence. You would think of a target answer like giraffe, for example, and power on the colorful plastic handheld console. The game would proceed to ask you 20 yes or no questions, to which you could respond yes, no, sometimes, or unknown. At the end of the round, the console would guess your answer based on the responses you provided. I had but forgotten about the game until I agreed to help my mother with spring cleaning. I was finishing cleaning out my brother's room while she was tilling our backyard to prepare for planting. I knew I'd have to go take over for her soon or she would insist that she could finish all the heavy shoveling herself. I was just packing up the last box when I saw our old 20Q console. When I was in fifth grade, my brother and I had begged our mother to buy us one. Looking at the plastic crimson sphere now brought back a flood of memories. A little nostalgic, I thought of an answer and powered the game on. The console emitted a sequence of beeps before asking, Is it an animal? No, I answered. Vegetable. No. Mineral. No. Other. Yes. The box beeped. I'm thinking. Is it a living thing? No. Is it a tool? No. I'm thinking... Can you play with it? Yes. Can you play pirates with it? I frowned. That was oddly specific. Still, I answered yes. If while playing pirates, you pushed it a little too hard, and it fell down the stairs and broke, would you try to fix it? No. Call your mother. No. Panic and try to cover up your mistake. My hand shook a little as I pressed yes. When your mother asked you where it was, did you tell her the truth? No. Lie and say you hadn't seen it. Yes. When you try to hide your mistake, where did you stash it? Did you store it in your closet, hoping no one would notice? No. Drag it out to the dumpster in a trash bag? No. Bury it in the backyard? With trembling fingers, I hit yes. When the dog wouldn't stop sniffing around its grave, 
Did you confess to your mistake? No. Bribe the dog with treats? No. Bury the dog next to its grave? Last question. The console beeped. When you buried it, did you know it was still alive? Trying to ask for help through a partially crushed windpipe, still weakly gasping. As its lungs filled with the wet soil, its brother shoveled on top of it. I gasped. Tears streaming silently down my face as I hit. Calculating. Where it would normally display its guess, the console instead output a continuous stream of words. You killed me. You, you killed, killed me. me. You killed me. And you killed me. You killed me, Gavin. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. And now you're going to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped the 20 Q console, my hand shaking. I was suddenly struck by how long the shadows were against my bedroom wall. Just how much time had passed while I was absorbed by answering the game's questions. I was acutely aware of the smell of freshly turned soil drifting in through my brother's bedroom window. Outside in the backyard, my mother screamed. Hello, I'm Dodge, and this is the I Found It on Reddit short stories podcast, where I will be reading to you my favorite short stories that I find on Reddit. Today, I will be reading the scary story, Flight of a One-Winged Butterfly, by Reddit user Cal underscore Ness. It's labeled Not Safe for Work, and I'm going to be joined by YouTuber The Devil's Interval for this story as well. Alright, let's get started. Flight of a One-Winged Butterfly, by Reddit user Cal underscore Ness. 